In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at Mini Grand from Air. All right, so if you've seen my other in-depth videos about pianos, uh, they can go on for quite a while. This one should be pretty damn quick. So let's go ahead and get onto this, guys. All right, Mini, Mini Grand, of course, is a piano plugin. It's now available in uh, VST as well. It used to only be part of the Air Creative Collection for Pro Tools, but now you can buy this uh, separately. So let's get onto the interface. So we have a model knob which of course selects between seven different pianos. And you'll notice that it ranges from dark, okay, to bright and aggressive there. So keep that, in, keep that in mind, our dynamic response, we're gonna hop into the controls here in a second. Dynamic response, this control adjusts the response of the piano sound to incoming MIDI velocity data. You now I've explained this on several of the Native Instruments pianos that we've looked at. So of course, higher settings give more dynamic sensitivity and lower settings create a more even dynamic response. So. You know, if you're using a MIDI keyboard that tends to output high velocities without much effort, turning this control down can help compensate, uh, creating a more natural feel. Okay, let's go ahead and pop in to those things. So we already covered the dynamic response. Let's go ahead and cover that first here. I'm just going to hit a note. Okay, I'm going to hit it at this velocity. All right. Now, I haven't changed how hard I'm hitting the note. Hear how much louder it is? Again, I'm hitting at the same velocity. I can even try to hit very softly here. That's about as soft as I can hit. Now we turn this up to max. And I'll hit it at the same softness. Not even hearing anything yet. Push it a little harder. There we go. Now if I turn it down to minimum. All right. So that is your dynamic response. Of course, that's going to affect everything here. So I'll hit play. Or not a minimum. It can be kind of confusing if you don't know about the dynamic response. The uh, dynamic range minimum, you might think, turns it down or makes it quieter. That's actually the opposite. What happens is it's almost almost kind of like a compression when it ends up raising uh, the overall velocity. If you know anything about velocity curves, you, know, you, you can look that up if you don't know it. We're not going to get into it here. We want to keep this... Uh, quick but minimum is actually going to make things a little bit louder and a little bit the differences between the quietest and the loudest notes will not be as great as it would be on maximum as you'll as you'll hear here I have to turn my level down because it's let's go up to max hear that now it sounds quieter we can compensate with our volume but the differences between those louder notes and those quieter notes are, are it's far different, okay? All right, so that is your dynamic response. I'll put it somewhere around there and compensate here. All right, moving on to our model, we already saw that we had seven different pianos. Let's go ahead and go through them real quick here. Again, as I mentioned, it goes from kind of a darker mellow sound to this side on, on the left to a more uh, bright, aggressive sound over here. You can actually just click the names. You don't want to just drag this dial around. All right, let's hear a couple of these. Okay, pretty dark there. And now this video is not really about the sounds so much. Uh, we'll have a different video showing some of the sounds of Mini Grand. This video, I just want to show you what everything does. So we'll go to soft. Definitely a difference. You don't hear a huge difference, but there is a difference. Okay, on to ballad. I really like ballad, real, and bright, personally. Let's go on to uh, real. There we go, we're really hearing the extra brightness now. A bit more lively. Sounds really good, especially for such a lightweight instrument. Now you may not hear much of a difference between if I go ballad here, right, and then I go to real. So well, it's, not, it's not that different, but come down here to Atmo again. You can really hear the difference there. All right, on to bright. On to hard. Definitely hear that one. All right, and dance. 
So you can really hear how aggressive and bright that is. Now for something like this, I might want to really up that dynamic response. It might help a little. It's a little too bright. Quite a hard there. All right. All right, so that is our seven different piano models. Just run through real quick there. You can hear they all sound uh, pretty good. Again, I really like these three in the middle there. These are the most useful in, uh, for normal piano sounds, at least in my opinion. Turn this back down a bit here. Let's go to real. Good. I go to ballad for that one. I like that little bit more of a metal sound. So there you go. Of course, you can you know, use these two controls in concert. Of course, all of the controls actually in concert with the, with uh, each other. Let's go to real here, and we'll go ahead and move on. Not a lot really to go through here. Our tuning scale, basic stuff in every piano, so we can go between equal and stretched. So of course, stretched where the piano's higher notes are tuned slightly higher. They are more in tune with the overtones of the lower notes. We have our room control, sort of like a reverb effect there. Several different ones to choose from. Our mix knob, which of course we'll have to uh, dial up if we want to actually hear some of the room. The overall level, okay. Then you have your mini grand info display and setup button there. All right, now we have an eco mode right there and we can also choose the uh, polyphony, which sets mini grand's maximum uh, polyphony there. And uh, I'll let you read through this if you want. Okay, I'm not going to read it because we're going to hear it. All right, and that's uh, pretty much it. That's about Pro Tools there. All right, so that's all we need that for us. Go on through our other controls. We'll start off here at our tuning scale. Right now we have it on equal. You're not going to hear much of a difference here. I'll go over to stretched. We're going to get some high notes in here. You're not gonna, like I said, you're not really gonna hear a huge difference. Maybe a slight difference. It just has to do with, you know, the overall tuning. We're not gonna get into tuning here, but you have those uh, right there. If you wanna use them, of course, our main level, I shouldn't even have to show this, come on. There we go, it's down to zero. I'm gonna just take away up. Okay, it's a volume control. Okay. On to our room. Let's go to a different phrase. I'm getting bored of that one. There we go. Now, on to our room. So we have soft, bright, studio, chamber, hall, and ambient. We can, of course, click on the name if you don't want to use your knob there. All right. So we'll start off here with soft. We'll just hit play. And change them. Don't hear anything because we need to actually mix some of this in here. So we'll hit play again, start mixing some in. Definitely hear that. Just your level. All right, move on to the bright. And again, you can look in the PDF if you wanna know exactly what these are meant to uh, sound like. So there are the descriptions there. You can read over those if you want. All right, very good. Moving on here, here's bright. Definitely a difference there. Here's studio. You probably wouldn't be going to 100%, but just showing you what it sounds like. All right, on to chamber. Let's go to a different phrase there. This is better for our room. It's a little too much. Just the volume. Pretty good sound there. I'll probably actually go to ballad here. I like that a little better. Stretched. There we go. That's pretty good. On to the hall. down a bit and then up it so you can really hear it. All 
right, and then the ambient. This will be the heaviest of all of them. So if you go way up with this one, it's going to get pretty crazy here. All right, so that's basically all of our controls here in Mini Grand. The other thing I want to look at here is we can click our wrench icon. We have max polyphony there and uh, also at eco mode, which we can turn on there. Eco mode will just be a little bit easier on your system there. It won't be as high quality, so you probably wouldn't want to bounce out in eco mode, but playing wise, you can you can do that. Go to uh, studio is pretty good. So we're not really he hearing that much of a difference here. But polyphony, you'll definitely hear a difference here if we take this way down. Like that. So you can use this for effects, not just what it's really meant for, is uh, you know, how many basically how many voices do you want playing at the same time? Um if I hit a note or a, a chord here. Right, we can really only hear two of those at once. You hear <laughs> playing a C chord and it keeps Switching which notes it's going to play. Go up to uh, 10 there, it should be okay. But what you have to remember is, you may say, well, why would I want any more than, you know, five or six or something? I'm not going to play that many notes at the same time. Well, you have to remember the, the tail of the note as well. Okay, so that can start to uh, really add up there. Especially if you have reverb and, you know, things like that. So, again, if it's way down and we try to play... You hear us cutting notes off. That's your polyphony. Now we're up to nine. You can see down here. That's pretty good. But we're still cutting off notes. Because of the tails. So if you turn your polyphony down, basically it'll basically be a little bit easier on your uh, system there. But Mini Grand, in my experience, is, is pretty... Uh, Pretty, pretty a light footprint there. So pop that back up there and we're good to go. Ballad. So as you can tell, it has a really good sound for such a lightweight instrument. Again, this video is not really to cover the sounds. Uh, we'll have a, I'll have another video for that to cover just the sounds. You guys should know how I do this uh, by now. All right, so we'll have another video for just the sounds. In this video, I just wanted to go over, you know, how to adjust things, uh, you know, what the basic sounds were and how we, uh, how we adjust it and set up exactly the sound you want from the options that we have available. All right, so that is a mini grand in depth.